and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jean and I'm a U2 student at McGill University. In U1, I was a biology major, but recently I switched to being a psychology major. So I have been in the biology psychology field for almost a year and a half now. So I feel like I've developed a pretty solid study system. So first things first, I love to light a candle before I study just so I can have some relaxing vibes. And I also play a study playlist in the background. Currently, I'm listening to the lo-fi hip-hop playlist. So right now, I'm listening to my psychological stats lecture recording. She doesn't give lectures and instead posts these recordings that we have to listen to weekly. Days are long, your car won't start. It's hard to fix shit with the broken heart. So while I watch the lecture recordings, I always have the PowerPoint slides on my iPad in front of me so I can annotate what the professor says. Instead of focusing on writing everything down, I typically try to listen to the concept of the slide first and then pause the video and summarize it into my own words on the slide. I find this to be a really useful technique, especially for these content heavy and memorization heavy courses since it makes sure you understand the concept before moving on to another topic. This technique is really useful for both psychology and biology courses since these courses tend to build on what you learned at the beginning of the semester. So if you don't understand the concepts at the beginning, you won't understand them later. step in my study routine is probably my favorite yet my most hated step and it is taking notes. I love taking notes just because I love making my notes aesthetically pleasing and organizing all the information but I also hate it because it's such a tedious task. Oh, I, can go low, 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 low. I think you know watching note-taking videos so if you feel the same way give this video a thumbs up We all die. 
Not all of my courses require the textbook. For example, for stats, it's pretty much useless since you just need to practice the problems. But for this class, which is behavioral neuroscience, I find the textbook really helps put all the information together. For classes where I find reading the textbook is helpful, I tend to do so after I take my notes. I can go low. Classes where the information is just too much, I tend to make a summary for each lecture. For my behavioral neuroscience class, I make a summary for each lecture once I have thoroughly learned the concept and read the textbook. Thank you so much for watching this video. If I did help you find a better way to study, then don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That is it for today's video, so I will see you in the next one. Bye!